designing a poster. So a poster design process. Today we're going to do it slightly differently. You know, we're going to not use the normal format that I'm using, but we're going to use a different one. You know, a more, well, a more classic one and one that actually looks better, at least at my point of view, from time to time. But anyway, I'm going to see you after the intro. Because we are indeed going to use uh, a Dean format, because I think that, let me just resolve this one, um, print a full, and we're going to lower it to, nah, we're going to keep it like that. There we go. Do you see that? No, you don't. Do you see it now? No, you don't. Do you see this? Yes, you do. Do you see that now? No, you don't. As well as this one. Question is why? <laughs> Untitled 4. Untitled 2. Untitled 3. Uh, why is there no Untitled 4? Well, for whatever reason. Untitled 4, there we go. So it is a DIN format, it is A4, DIN A4, um, you know, which is quite the usual uh, format that we're using in design when it comes to print things. And at least in Europe, I have to say, I think that in the States you use uh, different formats and um, yeah, period. But I'm going to give myself a few references, you know, some references to, uh, to, to, to know what I'm going to do. I think today we're going to use a serif font. The past few days I've always used sans serif. And, um, you know, today we're going to do it differently. It's probably going to be a Garamond or something similar. And I do actually really want to show you the, 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 where is it? <laughs> Why is everything so fucked up today? <laughs> I don't understand. I really don't. But, uh, let me see if I can solve this issue. I don't know if I can somehow deal with it. In whatever reason and all of a sudden I'm having just a completely different options here to choose from so this is my yes my channel page yeah you can see that cool then this is nothing apparently and you can't even see the document anymore so whatever is going on here it's a bit of an issue do you see it now yes you do so well anyway um, I'm just gonna choose one and I'm gonna copy it into the file so that you can as well see it. And there's actually a lot of really good ones, but I'm trying to find one with a serif font. I do like this one, um, but it is a bit too... or is it? Well, I don't know, you know, I think that it may be a bit too simple. I do want to be a little bit experimental today, but you know what? We gonna we are gonna choose this one, and I do want to make it. Ah, oh, come on, fuck it. Um, I think it's been this one. I hope at least. No, let's put it like this. There we go. Yeah, you know, pixelated as fuck, probably. Great, you know, there you see, this is my reference. Great. Um, well, you know, but this is what I'm kind of aiming for. I'm going to use a serif font and we're going to choose it together. Um, and it's going to be this type of style. I do really enjoy it. It is quite clean and I tend to not be that clean, unfortunately. But um, yeah, anyway. Yesterday I've used the Bahnschrift, which is actually a pretty cool one, not going to lie. Moza. What is Moza? Do I like Moza? 
I do really not like Moser. <laughs> uh, Ariel, um, what are we having here? Performance is just you know really shitty today. What's this one? Mongolian Minion. I think that I'm yeah. Let's use Minion. Why? Just because it has or it is a vi uh, variable font. So I do have the ability to just really be quite, uh, quite, quite uh, diverse with the um, things that I'm using. You know, the, I guess we're gonna start with a bold. No, we no, we're actually gonna start with a regular. What is gonna be today's topic? Today's topic may, might be dull. 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 Yeah, it's gonna be dull. Um, did he use capitalized shit here? Because I think he did. Or she, I don't know actually, to be honest. Yes, so we may as well use capitalized here, but for the other things, the other elements, we are gonna use just the regular shit. I think I'm gonna make it quite big um, and I do want to have my grid so that it is not all over the place you know that it has some sort of structure what I really hate about the uh, the Photoshop grid is that you um, that it is always like lacking in in some type of way you know on the very right you have having another row you know instead of just well you know uh, having bigger bigger squares or something I guess I could theoretically you know maybe I can actually deal with it let's see transparency and a garamut I guess or something I don't know Maybe we should actually close a few things. Um, units and guides, grid and slices. Um, grids. Grids every inch. Subdivisions four. Grid custom. What if I'm choosing a light gray? Ah, uh, yeah, I see. No, this is just a light red. A right my yellow cyan. I do actually really like this. Should I actually use black? No. Custom and we're gonna choose this again. Which is way too dark. Let's use this. And it did not change quite anything I guess. <laughs> Somehow. What if we're gonna do it every every one centimeter is this better does this make more sense it kind of does what if i'm choosing two centimeters three three apparently is quite nice yeah let's stick with that can you actually see it yeah you can um it is not really really correct but it does give me a better understanding of what i'm working with and what I'm doing here and um, that is quite the important thing we're also going to choose a picture or I'm going to choose a picture probably can't see that no you can't but I think the original one was with a person I tend not to like to work with pictures with people in them so I'm going to choose something neutral but still kind of expressive but also dull you know something there I don't know, like this one. I do read no, not that one. <laughs> not my ugly ass screenshot. Copy image. There. And there we go. Hopefully. No. Sometimes it doesn't work for whatever reason. Copy image. Maybe I have to wait a bit. Let's see if it works. And yes, it did. Um, I do like the size of it, but I would like it to be um, like this. 
and we're gonna drop it a bit probably gonna do it like this I guess yeah gonna do it like this and the dull is gonna be here and we're probably gonna do like this I've seen it somewhere before wow thank you no go away no go away we're gonna do this and we're probably gonna then use it as some sort of a line I could also drop it there kind of looks cool I don't know why but yeah let's have a bit of a text can you still see everything yes um, no fuck off mm, something really random and we're gonna choose lower case or both egg no nah, let's just only use lowercase and we're gonna make it 50 point or something dull is what is not exciting dull is what is dull yeah that's tremendously original let's gonna increase it i guess by 30 just for the sake of readability i guess uh maybe it's only 10. you know spacing is actually really quite important i always tended to be quite narrow with spacing uh, when it comes to lines when it comes to to letters themselves and i was actually always told not to do so but for whatever reason i kind of stick with it and nope that's fucked up now ah come on there we go and so i'm actually also gonna decrease the size of it substantially but i still do not enjoy something about it now i do enjoy it i'm gonna drop it out of this little box that we have created you know with this shape and that shape and whatever and i guess that i'm i'm gonna do it like this then i'm gonna do that and we're gonna flip it again or rotate it the other way around and it's already looking quite interesting you know, i do really like the din format um, for whatever reason you can't see anything i do really enjoy the din format i think it is just you know pretty elegant especially compared to the format that i'm normally using which is a bit uh, shorter in height um, but i enjoy it i really do so let's see what he did there as well um, he was actually always using let's let's add some elements maybe uh, we're gonna for whatever reason i actually don't really know but i guess that it looks kind of good Yes, it kind of does, for whatever reason. Is it sensical? Mm, semi, I'd say. But therefore, we're going to delete this one and we copy this one again. You know, I think design and, and creative things in general, art, um, of course, there are some rules. Of course, there are some reasons why something is good. You know, whether it is about contrast or hierarchy or whatever it may be. But in the real end, it is also more or less a feeling that you have. Or you do not have you know which then is a bit of an unfortunate thing um, but it is something I guess one develops um, something that you indeed also can develop now we're gonna duplicate this but of course some people are always going to be better at art and design and, and everything else than some other people um, period it is what it is this is just what life is and let's actually make it really small 
And let's use bold here. Bold, italic, bold. And we are going to do it like this. Yes, and we're going to duplicate it and I'm not going <laughs> to drag it like this. And we're going to do it on the other hand or other side as well. Um, I find the grid tremendously useful, especially for me. I um, you know, tend to be more chaotic with designs and um, this structure that I'm then still having in the background is just useful and actually makes the design in real end because um, yeah, from time to time it is just too chaotic and it doesn't make any sense then anymore, which is a bit of an issue then. Um, actually a pretty big issue, you know, which, you know, breaks the design in, in the real end. But let's actually turn off the grid. And I'm a uh, blur, this Gaussian blur. And we're actually going to do it by 50, I guess. Or something. Maybe we're going to have to make it white. Or I'm going to inverse this one. Do I like it inversed? I'm actually not quite sure. Somehow, but somehow not really. Dull. When I'm having a look at the word dull, what am I thinking about? You know, how do I pronounce it? How do I... Um, how do I... How do I use dull? Dull. Dull. I kind of think that the U could be like this, dull. Yeah, kind of does something to it. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, well, you know, in the real end, it is just a process. Design is a process. Doing something like that is just a process. And um, it takes time. It really does, you know. It also takes time to just generate this feeling or uh, get this feeling of, you know, what looks great and what doesn't, you know, what, what is important in design um, without always having to reverse um, or rehearse the rules and, and whatnot. But yeah, let's see, what do I dislike about it? I kind of feel like that these two elements, they could be, what if I bring them in? Yeah, this is way better. This is way, way, way better. Um, not sure about this rectangle in the middle as well. Well, as I said, it is about experimenting. And I'm also not really sure about the background. I might just have to inverse everything. And I guess that I'm also going to do so. Yes, it is way better. Even though I think classic design, especially some Bauhaus type of thing, it is most often black on white or black on, on lighter backgrounds. Um, it, well, it, at least as, as, I, as, as how I think about it at this point of time, which is, you know, very, 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 very highly subjective. So, um, yeah, period. Um, let's also just, you know, choose some logos, some other elements. Do you see that? Is it right? Yes, it is. Maybe I'm actually also going to choose this shit. Yes, thank you. Um, should I inverse it? No, I actually do not really want to inverse it. Let's actually, let's actually just have it there, I guess. This element and um, what if I copy it there and there? I've seen it on the original design, you know, the one that I've... No, I don't want to say that I'm faking it and shit, but does this make sense? It kind of does. Let's actually quickly have a look at the original piece. Mm. The original piece is not as hierarchical as, as mine is. 
what I mean is the fonts do not have that high of a um, of a, of a, a size difference. So I may increase this. Um, maybe to that. Yes. And this is one of the reasons why I do like to have some great inspiration and um, well, how should I say? Um, something to to look at um, some references because you know it's not always about uh, doing this new thing you know and then coming up with this new amazing idea no um, not, not really you know a lot of things have already been done and this is fine and this is also good and so um, let's just improve something I've never actually used that big font before, but I kind of like it. I kind of like it. But maybe, just maybe, we're going to have to decrease that. Do I like it better? No, no not really. No, let's actually just choose this, this more light type of feeling. You know, let's just, you know, change things, you know, uh, not always doing the same thing, not always using the same font, not always doing the same style, not always just creating the same shit you always do. It's interesting to do something new, it's interesting to, um, well, create something new. And let's have something up there as well. And we're gonna lower it a bit. And I think that I'm going to space it out like crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. I really like it. I really do. But what if I... What if I do this? <laughs> I think that's actually quite cool. I'm not sure though about the, the very middle part. I'm actually going to keep it like this. You know, it's a bit hard to read, but I think it is fine. There we go. Yes. What if I am making it way smaller? Is this good? And it's a bit more air, but it is not quite the style that I've seen there. But, ah, ah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, I do kind of see the issue. The original piece was, uh, so, so all the type was very close to the edges. Very close to the edges. So um, I may also do that with certain elements. So what if I'm, what if I do it? like this you know I may actually be cutting off some well I I don't know why I like it but I do like it it gives me a lot of space here in the middle which I really enjoy dull it's dull what about having this element there no nope, I do like it on the very top here is there something else that I could do? Is there something else that I could add or change or just, you know, it's a bit lacking in, in, in some departments. You know, maybe, what if I'm doing this black? What if I'm just having this in black? Does this make sense? No, it does not. Looks better like this. What if I'm just making this dull red? Black? No. Looks shitty. 
Scratch disk is full. Yeah, fuck you, let's say. So let's close some things. No to all. Fuck you. Go away. I don't care. Should I leave it like this? You know, I'm anyway going to add some, some texture, some other elements. You know, maybe it's going to be some sort of a halftone stylish thing or whatnot. Maybe having a box, a very narrow one here. Let's see. Dull. Nah, that's way too heavy. It is a very light design. This is what I like about it. I think that I'm gonna leave it like this. Um, but I'm gonna change the contrast a bit. I'm gonna change the things a bit. And I'm gonna duplicate it again like this. Do you still see everything? Yes, you do. That's amazing. We're gonna add some noise. 8% is fine. I might as well. You know what? I'm gonna do this 50% type of thing that I really like to do at the time. So we're gonna do this. I think that I've been able to come up with something quite good. I'm, I'm satisfied. At least at this point in time, you know, which doesn't have to mean shit. Because very often I do then think just, you know, after a few days or whenever that whatever I've done is actually not that good. Why does this... Should I leave it like this? Hmm. Maybe I will leave it like this. It's a bit kind of, you know, weird. But let's have a look at some textures. Maybe I can add something. Maybe I can do something. Um, maybe something like this. This may as well be the wrong one. Oh, I actually wanted to do some halftone type of thing. Um, well, let's actually see. If we can do something great with it. Well, I don't know. So that's not really what I'm looking forward here or for here. But something like this may be interesting in a slightly more subtle way, though. You know, not that, not that black. Or whatever. Mm, nah. Let's just leave it there. But we could try adding some half tone and see if it does anything to it. So we're gonna choose this point pattern here and we're gonna decrease the size by quite a bit. And no, I really dislike it. So we're gonna leave it like this. You know, we're gonna export it like this, call it dull. Do you see everything? Do you see anything? No, you don't. We're gonna put it there and it is fine. And with that being said, 30 minutes in, yeah, it's quite okay for doing so. Can see you the next time. Bye bye.